Okay, welcome to part two of this video in which we are analyzing a six joint truss. I noticed uh, as I was copying the equations that I got at the end of part one that I had made a mistake. This is not, as I indicated last time, this vector here is not T2, it is T3. So I've corrected that in hot pink here and then when I wrote down my equations I have star 3 and star 4, which are uh, both, uh, that's the uh, sum of the x uh, forces in the x direction is equal to 0, sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to 0 for joint B. Okay, so I'll go through joint C in detail, and uh, then once we're done, I won't show going through joint D and E in detail, I'll just write down the equations that we get rather than make you watch this whole painful process. So if we go to joint C, we will have T5 in this direction, T6 in this direction, and T8 in this direction. Okay, so let's uh, create the free body diagram for the pin at that joint. So we have joint C, and the free body diagram looks like this. We have T5, T6, and T8. And again, T5 and T6, the angle that they make with the horizontal is 26.6 degrees. So we can sum everything in the x direction, and we get uh, cosine 26.6 degrees times T5 plus cosine 26.6 degrees T6 is equal to 0. Summing everything in the y direction, we have, let's see, uh, sine 26.6 T5 minus sine 26.6 T6 minus T8 is equal to zero. So I can take these guys and copy them over to uh, my set of equations. And so this gives us then star 5 and star 6. Okay, so that's the last of the joints I'm going to actually show in the video. What I will do is analyze uh, two more joints. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll analyze joint D and then I'll analyze joint E, but at joint E I'm only going to take one equation because I've gotten two equations here, two here, two here, two here, and that gives me eight equations. I only need one more equation because I've only got one more unknown. So I'll just take one equation from E. So um, I will actually even pause the video while I get these equations. So be back in a moment. Okay, through the magic of video, I've written down the last three equations. Um, again, these came from joint D, this is the X and the Y, and this came from joint E, and it was the X. Okay, so I have nine equations and nine unknowns. And what I do now is plug these into my favorite uh, uh, equation solver. Uh, this is a fairly large system of equations, but um, it's not hard at all for something like MATLAB or uh, Maple or um, Octave. There's a, any number of computer solvers that will solve this. And so I've done that while not making you watch this. So when I do that then I get um, the following values. In 
artifact here. We'll write the, these values on the, the diagram itself. What's a color we haven't used that will stand out? Okay, we find that T1 is 44,735 pounds. Okay, this is T1. T2 is 9,969.5 pounds. T3 is minus 14,099. That's a zero pounds. T4 is minus 30,030.5 30, pounds. T5 is 33,585.4 pounds. T6 is minus 33,585.4 pounds. T7 is 0. We'll come back to that in just a second. T8 is 3,000 or 30,076.3 pounds. And T9 is minus 33,000. Oops, that's not correct. T9 is my is uh, 14,961.8 pounds. Okay. Okay, so what we see then is um, these joints, or I'm sorry, these members that have positive tensions, this one, this one, Uh, let's see, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, that can't be right. Not that one. Okay, the ones that I've sort of ugly scribbled on in blue, those members actually are in tension. The negative tensions that I've computed indicate that this member is actually in compression. This member is in compression. This member is in compression. I'm sorry, member 8 is in tension. And you'll notice that uh, member 7 has 0 pounds of tension in it, uh, which um, might seem a little strange to you. Uh, basically, what this means is that um, this member is not uh, applying any force, which makes sense. If I look at joint F, it has a member uh, going up and a force going down. And so if uh, member 7 is pulling it to the side, it can't be in equilibrium because there's nothing to pull it back in this direction. So it turns out that member 7 is a zero a zero tension element. Uh, you can actually, in principle, you could just get rid of it and the performance of the structure wouldn't change as long as your load doesn't change and your structure stays perfectly vertical and so on. So anyway, um, I hope you found this informative. Uh, the important things to see were how we went to each joint and obtained um, equations uh, from uh, applying or looking at a free body diagram of the pins and assuming the pins are in static equilibrium. And uh, again, I haven't solved uh, the large system of equations. Uh, in my mind, that's one of those things that's pretty easy to do nowadays. If uh, in your mind it's not easy to do and you'd like to see some examples of doing it with different types of uh, calculation programs, then in the comments to this video, indicate that. And if I get enough people saying that they'd like to see it, I'll show you a couple different ways that you can 
solve this system of equations on a computer. So, thanks for watching.